Hello everyone, um, Kennedy here once again. Um, I know probably you remember me might be a little difficult, might take time. Sam Kennedy Fintan Naji, um, the president of the Nigerian Union Japan and um, director CEO of NAF Connects for Africa and the World, which is a subsidiary of NAFCAN Associates PLC Japan. I'm here once again to discuss with our followers, to discuss with our friends, mobile friends and fans on, on our radio talk show to start, you know, discussing a lot of things. In my first uh, topic, uh, we discussed on the kind of people you need to know whenever you visit Japan. Today, I am here to discuss about language power. Let me repeat this, language power. Language is a wonderful thing um, everywhere in the world because if you go to any country or, and see someone who can speak your language, automatically you fall in love with that person. If we are 20 and one person can speak your language, you will fall in love with that person before. In Japan contest, I after living here for, I've lived here for 20, um, in seven years right now, heading to 28 years. And I've run a corporate organization for 21 good years, actually. I want you as a freshman, as a new person coming to Japan and as someone who is living in Japan to realize that if you want to survive in Japan, if you want to do businesses at a professional level, um, you need to study Japanese language. It is very important. Get the basics of Japanese language and definitely you will excel in any field you want to do. Japanese language is something very, very, it's not difficult, it's just like any other language you, you do not know. It requires a, a concentration, it, it, it requires uh, your zeal to learn, the ability to learn. But most importantly is why are you studying the Japanese language? Um, in this contest, I would like to give you an instance and a word, particular Japanese word you should try to realize because this is why if you're dealing with Japanese people, you find out that your communication with them cannot go into the depth of the untexture. It's simply because they do not understand you, but your link and the communication will just you know, be just at a shallow level and cannot go deep. There is a Japanese word that Japanese people doesn't like. And I will let you know that today. Try to remember this word and work on them. Continue to work on how to, I mean, alleviate these, uh, uh, the problem which this language or uh, the word can bring in. And that is denbun in Japanese. A Japanese word called denbun. Japanese people doesn't like denbun. What is the meaning of denbun in the first place? Denbun is hearsay in English, literally. It is hearsay. Someone said, he says, or whatever. Japanese doesn't like when they're dealing with you, your word becomes hearsay. It is called denbun in Japanese. They want to know that I said, you said, they want you to take responsibility of your own word. When Japanese people discovers that you have captured the linguistic acumen, you have mastered their language to the level that you can now take responsibility of your own word. For instance, if you go to the bank to borrow money or to ask them to lend you money, you can feel the forms required by the bank in Japanese. If bank sends you important information or information comes from immigration offices or information comes from police or information comes from uh, word offices, you can read and understand and then reply with your own initiative without, I mean, taking 
translators or translations or someone aiding you to do that. Therefore, Japanese can deal with you to the core. They can, in fact, you can get anything in Japan. And for you to break this barrier, you require linguistic acumen. You need to study Japanese language to gain the regular or the core trust required to run a corporate organization in Japan. Take for instance, in, in Japan, um, when you meet people and you discuss with them, Japanese people will praise you, even with the little Japanese you can speak. It is called shakojire in Japanese. Automatically, they don't want to offend you. Even when you say, Ohayo gozaimasu, they say, Nihongo jozu desu ne. They will tell you whenever you say, good morning, only good morning, they will praise you for that. It's just to encourage you to continue and never stop from there. And never feel you have understand the real Japanese language. When you understand the real Japanese language is when you get what we call Nihongo no Kiso. That is the basics of Japanese language. And from there you can increase your vocabulary, Gohi, Ryoko and all those stuff. So you increase them and keep on working seriously. Another serious point I want to make here for all of you to understand is it will be very, very important to have Japanese government agencies, government, the lawmakers, to build more Japanese language schools in Africa. I figured out in these recent years, after living here for a long time, that most Western um, uh, dignitaries or the Western students, and then all from people from Europe, Europe, America, let me give direct instances, Australia and thereabout. They come to Japan and they penetrate into the Japanese system immediately. Why? Because they have access in their home countries to Japanese language courses, Japanese language affiliated materials. They study by themselves, they go to school, they have idea, they have knowledge of Japan, this language, knowledge of Japan before coming to Japan. But in our own context, in Africa, you find out that most people, about 80% of Africans coming to Japan have never, they have never, let me repeat, I mean, read or listen to what is called Japanese language before. So it draws us back whenever you come to Japan to study or to do anything in business. It takes time for us to now penetrate into the system and show the intellect that Africans have. So I am of the opinion and will support any agency that has interest in building Japanese language schools in Africa, any, any, any country in Africa, making it easy for Africans to have access to Japanese culture before coming, Japanese uh, animations, Japanese uh, whatever, m music, uh, songs and whatever so that Africans will be fast about Japan, know more about Japan before coming. It will be more easier to penetrate into the Japanese uh, society. Very, very easy. So I suggest that people should help in these areas, people who are conversant in these areas, to make sure that our younger generations, because the world has become a global village, our younger generations will have access to studying Japanese, knowing about Japan, before coming to Japan. Then, if you come to Japan to study or to work or to do whatever that your visa permits you to do, my simple hint is you should strike the iron while it is hot. Let me repeat. You should strike the iron while it is hot. Nihongo dato tetsu ataka yuchi ni tataketo. If you come to Japan today, Please start studying Japan from day one you are in Japan. If you allow yourself to say, okay, let me study, maybe let me start studying from the next two years or three years or four years, the more you start growing in Japan, the more responsibilities start growing and the more you can never understand Japanese language again. The best timing is once you arrive in Japan, regardless to the purpose of why you're here, please lay hands on studying Japanese. It is a key that will allow you success. It is a key 
that will allow you to trust them. In Japan, if you understand the language, why is it that if you do not understand the language, it becomes difficult for you to mingle with the Japanese people? It's simply because Japanese, before he deals with you in the depth of the untexture, would always like to trust you. Japanese will always like to believe you. One will never, if they don't trust you, they will never do, any, they do anything depth with you. Your relationship with them will end up shallow. Another important factor is remember that a lot of international marriages have broken and you should ask what is the cause of this? It is lack of understanding of Japanese language, lack of understanding of the other people's culture, lack of understanding of other people's feelings because you have a total different orientation from the Japanese people and it is only when you understand the language that you can now understand the pros and cons and how it works in this society and learn from it. Go nireba, go When in Rome, you behave like the Romans. So I would like each and every one of us who want to come to Japan and find Japan a suitable place and enjoy, rejoice with the Japanese people and know that this Japanese is a wonderful culture, is a wonderful country that loves you when they understand you. Thank you and wait for our next episode. But do not fail to please subscribe to our YouTube channel as a follow-up of all our activities or download our free mobile application NAV Connects for Africa and the world, a one-stop source for information for life, equipped with chat functions, including free audio and video calls, and a lot of other things you would want to know more about Japan. Thank you and see you next week. Bye-bye.